If this video is helpful to you, please consider subscribing to the channel, like the video and comment your feedback. I am going to take the Firebase website and here I am going to click on this link. Then we will be redirected to a page where I am going to click on this get started button. From here, I am going to click on this add project button and next I am going to give the name of the project. Next, I am going to click on the continue button. After that, I am going to disable this analytics and click on create project. Next, our new project will be created. Okay, so our new project has been created. I am going to click on the continue button. Then we will be redirected to the Firebase console. Here you can see that there are three icons for iOS, Android and web. I am going to click on the web icon and as a first step, I am going to register the app. So for that, I am going to give the name of the app as WhatsApp clone. Next, I am going to click on the register app button. Then as a second step, we can see that we have to install the Firebase into our project. As I am using NPM, we need to use NPM install Firebase. So I am going to copy this command and to run the command in the new terminal. So now Firebase will be installed into our project. So now Firebase has been installed into our project. You can see that in the package.json as like this way. Okay, so next I'm going to do is in the document you can see that I'm going to copy this code snippet completely and next I'm going to create a new folder called Firebase and inside this folder I'm going to create a file called setup.js as like this way. Then in the setup.js file I'm going to paste that code snippet that I have copied from the document. So next after that I'm going to do is I'm going to remove these commands for make it more clear as like this way. So now you can see that here is a Firebase config which contains the API key or domain etc. We are not going to make any changes in this Firebase cons config. So I am going to minimize it. So they have initialized the app by using importing initialize app from Firebase app. So the thing that we have to do first is we have to next I am going to do is to click on the continue to console button here and you can see that we will be redirected to the console of our project. So here in the sidebar you can see that there is a build option there you can see the authentication app check Firebase database etc. So I am going to click on this authentication. Then after that I am going to click on this get started button. Okay and here you can see that we can add the phone number provider by clicking here. So after that I am going to click on the enable button. Then I am going to select my mail account. This phone authentication is enabled. And here we have to import something from Firebase auth. So I am going to import get auth as like this way. So after importing this get auth I am going to do is to define variable i am going to give the name as auth and i am going to assign the get auth function into it then to this get auth function we have to give next is to give this app variable as an argument so when we are using this firebase firestore authentication what we have to do is to pass this app into this function that we have imported as an argument okay as like this way next i am going to do is to export this auth variable for using it in another file here setup.js file as completed so next I am going to do is I am going to use the phone input. I am going to use the phone input react library. So I am going to install the phone library from npm. So I am going to copy this. I am going to run that command. So now the library has been installed. Here in the library document you can see that here is an example. So I am going to use the phone input component in this phone sign in. So here as like this way phone input then inside this component i am giving three props country i am going to give default country as us then next we need to give the props value and also the on change here you can see that we have to import the react phone input style so i am going to copy this and to paste it below this phone input import okay so now you can see the structure as like this i am going to comment this value and on change at that time you can see that this is the style of the country code okay we can select the country and selecting like this way we can enter the phone number as like this way i'm going to give a class name here phone sign in new file that is phone.css so i'm going to give the style to this phone sign in class name that is phone sign in and i'm giving as position absolute top 30 percentage left 40 percentage and i am going to import the phone.css file here that is phone 
dot css this structure of the file as like this way so here next i'm going to do is to give a button below this text field here i'm going to use the button component from the material ui and i'm giving as a name that is send otp as like this way and i'm giving the variant contained so now you can see the structure of the button here so next i'm going to do is to put this phone input and the button inside another div as like this way so i am going to copy or cut this phone input and the button from here and to put it in this div and in this div i am going to give another class name that is i am giving as phone content then i am going to give a style to this phone content class name that is content as like this way then here i am going to give as text align to sender so now you can see that the structure is like this way i'm going to give then next i'm going to give a style to this button that means i'm giving as sx tag margin top 10 px okay so now you can see that the structure is like this way that is the phone input and the button so below the button i am going to give another text field so i'm going to use the text field from the material ui as like this way and i'm going to give the variant as outlined then next i'm going to give the size as small a label as ender otp so now you can see that the structure as like this way here is a text field with the label ender otp okay so next i'm going to do is to give a sx tag to this text field also here also i am giving a margin top 10 px and also i am giving a width of about 300 px okay so now you can see the structure the next thing i'm going to do is to use another button component from the material ui and i'm going to give the name of the button as verify otp and i'm going to give the variant as contained and i'm going to give the color as success this is a verify otp then next i'm going to put this text field and the button inside this div as like this way so now i am going to give a br tag below the send otp button as like this way and also after the text field i am going to give the br tag now you can see the structure as like this so here i am going to give a sx tag for the verify otp button that is sx tag with the margin top 10 px okay so now you can see that here is a structure as like this way okay then next i am going to give the functionalities so for that i am going to uncomment this value and on change and here i am going to define a new state so i am going to define a state called phone as like this way that is phone set to phone which is equal to new state empty string and i am going to give phone to this value and in this on change i am going to do is to give the set to phone so i am giving a set to phone like this way and inside the set to phone what i am going to do is first of all i am going to give the plus symbol and i am going to add the phone in to it okay so next i'm going to do is to define another function for calling it in this send otp button so for that i'm going to define a function that is called send otp which is an arrow function so i'm going to do is i'm going to import one thing from the firebase auth so i'm going to import the recapture verifier from the firebase auth as like this way and i'm going to use as it like this way and i'm going to give it into a variable so i'm going to give as variable recapture okay so next i'm going to do is to give the r argument into this new recapture verifier so i am going to give the first argument as auth so the first argument that we need to give inside this recapture verifier is must be auth the next i am going to give the name of the id here we have given a string as like this way that is recapture itself the next i am going to give an empty object okay after that i am going to do is i am going to define another variable i am giving as confirmation and here i am going to do is to use another function from the firebase auth so for that i am going to import that function from the firebase auth the function that we need to import from firebase auth is sign in with the phone number so i have imported the sign in with the phone number from firebase auth and inside the sign in with the phone number i am going to give the three arguments so first argument that i am going to pass this into the sign in with the phone number is first is auth then second is the phone that means the state we have defined then third is the recapture that means the variable that we have defined before okay as like this way next i am going to do is i am going to console this confirmation as like this way so next i am going to give async await async await and a try catch console dot error error and i am giving this into this try okay so now you can see that the structure has like this way i am going to call the function that is send otp in the button send otp okay here i am going to call this in the on click of this button send otp then next i am going to give here phone okay so after entering the phone number i am going to click on the send otp at that time a recapture section for verifying that i am not the robot will came here so for that we have to 
give a div for showing that verification so i am giving here an empty div as like this way and here i am going to give id so we have already given a name that is recapture as a second argument in this recapture verifier so it is because we need to give that same name here so i am giving as recapture here as well okay okay and i am going to click on this send otp button so at that time you can see that i am not a robot div will be arrived as like this way here i am going to give a style as well so i am giving here as the margin top 10 px so here i'm giving as margin top 10 px as like this way and then now you can see that here as like this way so i'm going to click on this empty space to show that i'm not a robot then next i'm going to take the console at that time you can see that here is the confirmation result so we will get the, these details when we log this confirmation okay so next what i'm going to do is i'm going to define another function so i'm going to define a function called verify otp that is verify otp an error function and i'm going to do is i am going to pass this confirmation into a state so for that i am going to define a new state that is user set user u state here i am giving as null and i am going to pass this confirmation into this u set to user as like this way that is confirmation okay then now we will get this user here in this verify otp function so what i am going to do is here i am going to do is to use that user user dot confirm this confirmation contain a property called confirm so i am going to call that function here and i am going to pass the pass an otp that we will get in our mobile phone so for that i am going to do is to define another state so here i am going to give it as otp that otp as like this way which is equal to u state empty string then i am going to pass the set otp into this text field on change of this text field as like this way so i am giving as set otp e dot target dot value okay and i am giving as even here okay so now you can see that we will get the otp in this state so i am going to pass this otp state into this confirm okay that is user.confirm here and i am giving here a single await and try catch as like this way okay then i am giving here as console.error error and i am going to pass this user.confirm into this try okay next i am going to go do is to call this verify otp in this button that is in the on click of the button i am going to call the verify otp function as like this way okay so now you can see that here i am going to enter my mobile number again and i am going to click on the send otp button and i am going to click on this blank page to show that i am not a robot at the time you can see that a verification code is arrived into my phone number so i am going to type that verification code as like this way and i am going to click on this verify otp okay so as of now you can see that i am going to define a new variable i am going to give as data and I'm going to assign this user.confirm into it. And I'm going to log that data here. That is console.data. So I'm going to click on the verify OTP again. Okay. It is show, now showing as it is expired. I'm going to select the country code. And I'm going to give my phone number. And next I'm going to click on the send OTP button. At that time this I'm not a robot or recapture div will be appeared. And I'm going to click on this empty space. At that time you can see that the user will be verified. And an OTP is sent to my phone number. I'm going to give that OTP here. The next I'm going to click on this verify otp at that time you can see that a result will be in the console that is user credential so in this user credential you can see that in the user there is phone number 